Good day, everyone. This is Hayden Jamal of HaydenJamal.com, Motif Legend, back with another video. And today I wanted to discuss the artist who is just starting out. All they have is a room and they have very little resources. How in the world do you go about getting the best bang for your buck when you have pretty much nothing, no money, no resources. So what I'm gonna do is share with you all of the information and wisdom that I have in buying home studio equipment so that you can still create quality music. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first thing that we're obviously going to need is a computer and you're going to need recording software. That's the bare minimum. If you have no computer, how do you go about finding one for cheap? You can go to the app OfferUp, you can go to the app LetGo, and you can also go to Craigslist. Using these three different resources, you should be able to find a computer that will be able to run a audio recording software or a digital audio workstation. So the best free audio recording softwares that you can really get are Pro Tools first, Audacity, and if you have a Mac, the GarageBand that's already going to be installed into your Mac. That just makes it very easy. You have your computer, you have your audio recording software. After you've gotten your computer and you have gotten your recording software, now what most people are going to say is you need an audio interface, you need a microphone, and obviously you need microphone cable. If you don't have the money to get these three things, well, how about you get them all in one. Yes, you can actually do this. You can buy a USB microphone. How does this save you money? It's one kind of thing in all. It has its preamp built into the microphone. It has its uh, actual cable that comes with it. And it also has the microphone itself. So you've got all three components, the audio interface, which you're just going to be using for its preamp and um you know, listening purposes, but you're going to use headphones for that. You're going to have the preamp built into the microphone already, and you have the cable there. So instead of spending $20 on a cable, maybe uh, $80 to $90 on an interface, and $100 on a microphone or $200 on a microphone, about $350, bucks, you spend one time $100 for a USB microphone and get all three in one. Just make sure that whatever USB microphone you get, it has something to prop it up because that's going to segue into the next part. The next thing that you're looking for if you are not going to have the greatest microphone well period really the most important and critical portion of the studio is definitely the isolation and treatment of the room or the area that you're recording in now you don't have a lot of money so what i'm going to suggest is that you record in your closet now a very small space i know you have a lot of clothes you have clothes you have cushions from your couches you have blankets you have pillows you have rugs you have a bunch of things that you're probably not using around the house that'll save money anything that's cloth like put it as much as you can into the closet with your microphone that way you will deaden a lot of the unnecessary reverbs and echoes and you will really bring out the microphone in its entirety no matter how much a microphone costs it can cost 50 bucks and cost a two thousand dollars if you put a two thousand dollar microphone in a place where it's treated bad it will sound like a ten dollar microphone it is uh proven tested no matter what you do so get getting all of you don't have to go and spend any money on you know buying tiles or uh, buying foam tiles for your walls you can just go into your closet fill it up with pillows and cloves and things like that. And you're good to go for an isolation space. It'll be hot, but you'll be able to record music. The second to last bit you're going to invest in is going to be a pop filter or a windscreen. Now, this is one thing that I would say you don't want to cheapen out on because it's already pretty cheap on its own. You can go to Amazon and get a quality, quality, quality pop filter for like, 10 to 15 dollars i mean seriously the chinese branded ones that you can buy on wish are great i mean the one that i use comes out of this microphone kit that i bought for like 39 bucks and i didn't use anything in it but the pop filter the pop filter was better than the 30 dollar one and the 20 dollar one it was literally out of china but it just works good so just buying a pop filter don't really skip out on that. But keep in mind, if you have a USB microphone with a tripod, then a windscreen would work better because you're not going to have to prop it up anywhere. A windscreen would just fit right over the diaphragm of the capsule, the microphone part. The you know what I mean. It'll fit right over it. Just look it up. Just buying a windscreen or a pop filter will definitely work. If you just cannot 
by a windscreen or a pop filter. There is a way to get around it. There are going to be some people who say you could put a sock or some kind of clothing on top of the microphone to do a pop filter. I I'm not a proponent of that. I don't think it's going to work that well. I've never tried it. So maybe just try to see how it goes and let me know in the comments section. But what you can do, which will be very tedious and hard, is have pristine microphone technique. The purpose of a pop filter is that it's going to stop the sounds from getting into your recording. And you can do that on your own with just great techniques. So instead of saying pizza, you're going to say pizza. You see, you've got to really control it. So can you do that? It's up to you, but it is a way to save money at the end of the day. The last thing that you want to look into is memory. Buying an external hard drive is not feasible for everyone, but I think you can afford a flash drive. Can you afford a 32 gigabyte, 64 gigabyte flash drive? They're pretty cheap nowadays. If you're not able to do that, I got an even cheaper solution for you. How about a cloud drive? Google Drive, for instance, will give you five gigabytes of free storage for every single email account you create. Just look it up, five gigabytes. So if you run out of space, you can always just you know, sign up for another email. That way it'll also make it easier for you to send files out to different producers or engineers or whomever you need to mix your stuff or whatever you're doing. So those are my five tips on how to really get your home studio started if you really have nothing. This is Hayden Jamal of HaydenJamal.com, Motif Legend. I'm a rapper and a songwriter. Please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, and Apple Music. That's a new one. The links are in the description below. Make sure to be the dream and stop dreaming and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Talk LeBron with hairlines, care that talk about receding. He might think, then when he catches that double meaning, he'll LOL and have no choice but to retweet it. I'm hopeful and believe it. God damn it, I see it, I speak it into existence. I had a premonition, I'd be great, you had suspicion. But flip the connotation, I'm wondering what's the difference. Think logic for liking my intermission over Twitter. Let's start of something bigger.